ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker! Except today, it's The Perry Drinker. It's, it's been quite a while since I've actually uh, reviewed a Perry for the show, but thanks to Orchard Box, I'm doing another one for you guys, and it's from a company which I never have heard of before, so I don't really know what to expect from this. Um, it's the Orchard's Cider and Perry Company, and it is their Blakeney Red Gloucestershire Perry. There we go, pretty um, simple label there, but kind of does the job well, I think. Single variety, um, as you can see, comes in these 500ml bottles, and it comes in at 5.6% ABV. And even before I've poured out the cider, look at that sediment. <laughs> oh, that's usually a good sign that this is going to be a good drink. Um, let's see, contains peri pear juice, sulfates, and sugar. Hmm, again... That's a debatable topic. Well, check out my Cider, Cider Drinker Discusses video on it anyway. A natural characteristic of this Perry is that it may have a pink, cloudy appearance. Well, it certainly looks cloudy to me, but we'll see what the colour is like when I get it in the glass. Let's have a look. Let's see what it says. Uh, the pears in this medium Perry have been picked from orchards in the county of Gloucestershire. Well, didn't, uh, didn't expect that. They are milled, pressed and fermented in a traditional way, then left to mature naturally, resting in a delicious refre resulting, sorry, in a delicious refreshing drink which has a long heritage. Best served lightly chilled. This product was produced under protective geographical identification regulations. There we go. And uh, it's got the old, uh, the old logo there for that as well. Right there. So, uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, store in the cool location, refrigerator, blah, 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 used within four days. <laughs> Who's going to keep a cider for four days after opening, honestly? Uh, promotes responsible drinking, apparently. Uh, yeah, they're based in Brockwear near Chepstow. I have never heard of that place before in my life. That's probably why I didn't know that this company existed. But I'm always excited to try some new companies out and see what they can bring to the table, so... Uh, well, let's waste no more time. Let's just see what um, is in the bottle, shall we? Let's get this top off. Okay, well, there's the first thing. It's completely still. Um, did it say it was sparkling? No, I don't think it did. Well, there we go. Still. What does it smell like? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that smell took me aback. Oh, that is... That is very, very different. It, uh... Cool. Um, I don't know how to describe that. It's quite perfumey. Very, uh, very fragrant. It smells... This is going to sound really strange. It smells of Turkish delight. That is so bizarre. Wow. Definitely a very, uh, sweet, sweet perfumey smell. Yeah, smells of, like, rose. Um, like, the definitely Turkish delight sweets. Goodness me, I've never smelt that from a cider before, or should I say a perry, so, well, there you go, that's something different. So, let's get it all poured in my dry hot cider glass here. Now, you know what I'm like, I don't care if cider goes into my glass. I have it, cheese, peas, carrots and everything. Let's get it all poured in. Sometimes the sediment adds to the, uh, adds to the flavour, actually, and it doesn't say leave it in the glass, so there we go. Right. Let's see about the colour, and well, can't see you guys through it, completely cloudy as you can see, but you know what, it does have a slight pinky hue to it, um, at least from where I'm sitting anyway, that is, um, it kind of looks like a blood orange juice in the glass right there, slight, um, maybe even like pink, sort of like pink grapefruit sort of hue to it, huh. very different colour, very different smells, do I get any more? Oh, wow. Now it's smelling, um... It's smelling kind of woody. Yeah, like, um, wet wood. Uh, I know that sounds really strange. Um, uh, once, like, you, you know, if it's rained on a bit of, um, on a bit of, like, flooring, on a, um, the, like, a, you know, wooden flooring. Wow. Very, very, very different smells, different colours and everything in this, um, in this peri, so... I'm looking forward to seeing what this tastes like. I can't wait anymore. Let's find out. Cheers, guys. Here's to the Orchard's Blakeney Red Perry, courtesy of Orchard Box. Cheers. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, it's got that biscuity aftertaste. Oh, yeah. Big, big biscuity aftertaste. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, do you know what? I think this is probably my favourite aftertaste in a Perry, and that was just almost instant. Let's get a second one. Oh, good lord. Wow, that is like I've, um... Hmm. It's like I've... <laughs> it's, gonna say, it, it's, it's like I've just gone into a... Um, into, into a uh, confectionery shop and I've just like taken all the digestive biscuits off the shelf and I've just shoveled them into my mouth and I'm just gobbling them up. Goodness me, big, big biscuity aftertaste. Um, what you get before that though, the, um, is what you smell is kind of in the taste as well. It, very, very perfumey, very fragrant on the tastes. Um, and yeah, still a hint of like that, that Turkish delight sort of taste, a bit of like rose. A uh, slight touch of like floralness about it. Mm. And also underneath everything, there is kind of um, a slight citric hue behind it. Oh, but it's it's all about that aftertaste. My goodness me. Mm. Oh, and it's still there, lingering, just at the back of the throat. Every time I breathe, it's just kind of biscuit, biscuit. Mm. Love that aftertaste. Can you tell I love that aftertaste? Mmm, lovely. Mmm. Oh, wow. I think I might have found, found my new favourite Perry. Definitely. I mean, I haven't um, sampled many um, proper Perrys on the show, but I think I might have actually found my new favourite one. I'm, uh, I'm interested to see if the flavours change as it uh, warms up, because I have got it um, quite chilled. But I'm wondering if, uh, once it warms up, whether the uh, flavours will come out more and more. But, I mean, what we've got... It's it's completely different in its colour, in its smells, in its tastes. But I tell you what, if this is what the Blakeney Red Perry Pear tastes like normally, I think I'm going to like this this um, style of single variety um, Perry for sure. Um, I don't know if the Orchards Cider and Perry Company do any more drinks. I'm, I'm, assum I'm assuming they do, because it says Cider and Perry. So, oh wow. But as this is the first one I've tried, this is a really awesome start, um, you know, for me trying out there, trying out the ciders and perries. So I'm hoping I can get to try some more soon. Anyway, let's uh, get a final taste before our final verdict, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. And obviously, with it being. Um, well, not obviously, but with it being still, it um, it's got quite a quite a light texture behind it, but it doesn't taste watery. I mean, all these flavors are just every sip is just a, an amalgamation of all these flavors. They're just bursting out, and well, yeah, it's amazing. What can I say? Uh, for a final verdict, I don't think it's going to come as any surprise at all. Orchard's Gloucestershire Blakeney Red Single Variety Perry is easily going to get a 9.5 out of 10 and decide to drink a seal of approval. My goodness me, um, I have not tasted a Perry like this for a very, very long time and I'm so glad I have. <laughs> I am going to enjoy every moment of this drink. It is absolutely superb. If you, can, if you get the chance to, um, to try this, then don't hesitate, try it. It's just absolutely fantastic. I mean, obviously, if you don't like biscuity aftertastes, this isn't really going to be one for you. But everyone else, please go out and find a bottle of this because it is, I, I think, as I said, I think it is my new favourite Perry out there. With that said, that is another episode of the Cider Drinker. Or should it be Perry Drinker for you guys? I hope you liked it. And as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider or Perry soon. Until then, I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Take care, guys. Until next time.